Hello, and welcome to another Let's Build video from Thrive Themes. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to build these three toggle element examples in Thrive Architect. In fact, this Let's Build video was inspired by comments we received from readers of our recent nine ways to use toggle elements to boost your conversions blog post, where they wanted to actually see how to build some of the examples we showed in that post. Now, if you're interested to see all the different use cases we go through in that blog post, we put a link in the description below. But just to run through a few of them, we showed how toggle elements can be used for frequently asked questions sections on sales pages, how to use toggle elements to list your transcripts to podcast episodes or dedicated video posts, as well as other things like how to have simple in-content quiz questions with your toggle elements. However, in today's video, we're gonna show you three specific examples that take care of three specific use cases, including the frequently asked questions section example, the step-by-step -step instructions example that you see here with this, this recipe example, as well as a tutorial page toggle element example. In the tutorial page example, it's a little bit more advanced, but it's super interesting use case for the toggle elements where you can actually use the input the post list element from Thrive Architect in the drop down area of a toggle element. You can basically have certain pieces of content linked in that post list or, or display in that post list that will help get the right tutorial content to new users of your products or on sophisticated pieces of content where people need some tutorial information to get started. And to take a moment before we get started building anything, I just wanna show you how powerful the toggle element in Thrive Architect is. So if I go grab a toggle element from the right sidebar and drag and drop it onto the page, what you'll always see is the default template design will load, but you can change that quickly by clicking on the template options tab and then selecting from one of the many preset designs that appears. So we'll just select one to show you how this works. The new toggle element design loads, and this is toggle element, toggle template seven. And from there you can change the main accent color of the element. So you'll see in this particular design, the, uh, the hover colors and the icon colors change as you click it. You can change the number of toggle item columns you have in a given toggle element change the width and so on. You can even add new toggle items um, very easily or remove them by clicking on the trash can icon. But the most powerful feature I want to show you with the toggle element in Thrive Architect is actually how you can include whatever Thrive Architect template you want within your toggle item in the dropdown area. So if you need to show a video in the dropdown area, you can definitely do that. You can even show something like a contact form in that drop-down area if you so choose. So this is just to show you that the power and the versatility of the toggle element is quite wide. Because you can put whatever content you need within the drop-down area, it then opens up several use cases for how you can use it, which is what the blog post I talked about at the beginning of this video showed. With that being said, let's build our first toggle element example, the frequently asked questions section in use case. And we'll start by simply finding the toggle element in the right sidebar and dragging and dropping it onto the page. From there, we need to change the template to match our example. So we open up the template library and click on the this particular template, which is a match for what our example has but you'll notice that the, the default colors of the template are different from our example. So how do we go about changing that? Here in the main options tab, you simply click on the main accent color and change it. We'll change it to this light blue. So you notice that the icon color changed, but the second accent color is different. So we can change that by clicking on the second accent color, clicking on the dark blue and pressing apply. Now the two toggle elements are matching. However, you'll notice that in our example toggle element, we have two columns. How do we get our building toggle element to have two? Easy, in the main options, we just move the column slider bar to two. 
and there we have it. We're, we're at two columns of toggle items. At this point, it's time to actually change the font styling and the drop-down content area of the toggle element. So from there, we'll click on this Edit Toggle Items button and we'll enter the Edit Toggle window. So to change the styling of the toggle item title is pretty easy. We'll just click on the Typography tab while in our, our toggle title uh, breadcrumb. And we'll, we'll change from quicksand to say Roboto. We'll make it a thinner um, font weight and maybe a thicker bold weight. Or maybe we should just keep it at 500. And from there we can actually change the toggle item title to the frequently asked question we want to show here. So, okay, so that's the toggle item title. How about the actual content of the toggle item dropdown. From there you click expand and here we can just inline change the text or as how we want to get the, the frequently asked question answer we need. Now from here you'll see that the three different toggle items are styled differently. And the way I like to quickly go about and give all the toggle items the same style is I'll exit the toggle editor and then delete, click the little trash can to delete the other items and then just click add new, add new, add new as I need to then get the same toggle styling throughout all of them. And then I can very easily go back into the edit toggle editor window and change the questions change the, the drop down area and very quickly my frequently asked section toggle item will be styled and ready to publish. Let's now look at the second toggle element example, the step by step instructions use case. And the toggle element is actually a really cool tool to use for doing step by step instructional content because it allows you to break steps down either into categories like you see here in the recipe example or into bite-sized steps where you can highlight the step at hand and then list more detailed content in the drop-down area. So to create something like we have here for the recipe example, we'll start by, of course, grabbing a toggle element from the right sidebar and dragging and dropping it onto the page. And of course, the default toggle template comes up, so we need to change that in the template options tab. We'll scroll down to find the correct template of our example, which is the toggle template nine. And we can already see that we need to change the default colors to the main accent will be this yellow and the second accent, which is basically going to be the, the hover co color as well as when the toggle opens, we'll change it to something that has a little more contrast with the yellow this dark brown. We can also change the, the width to be something that looks more like our example and then center it. And then from here we can actually enter the edit toggle items editor window where we can change the, the icon color to give that contrast as well as the font color under the typography tab to, to get that high contrast between the yellow and the darker font style. From here, we can change the font type to something more like Open Sans, I believe the example has. And let's reduce the font weight. And then we can take the font size down to something like 18 pixels. And since we're in the toggle editor window, we can start to change the toggle item titles as needed ingredients, cooking ware. You could also say step one, step two, whatever you need to do. And then again, to change the inner content, we'll need to expand each individual toggle item. And if I leave the toggle editor to just look at what the, the drop-down content looks like in the example, you can see that the text needs to be larger. 
So we can do that and we're using a lot of either bullet points or numbers in this example. So I can click on the text to add the bullet points and then increase the font size. We can change the font to something a little bit darker and then start listing out ingredients for our recipe. For this example, this is a pretty simple one. You would just go through and change the toggle item titles as well as the simple content you want to share for each particular category uh, or step by step. And that's about it. That with that, you can quickly and easily build step by step instructions like a recipe using the toggle element in Thrive Architect. And finally, let's move on to our third toggle element example, the tutorial content use case. Now this is an excerpt from our Thrive Theme Builder tutorial page and on it, we're gonna show you a little bit more advanced toggle element example where you can actually include the things like the post list element within the drop down area of your toggle. So we'll go ahead and design this entire um, toggle element example and it begins by grabbing a content box from the sidebar dragging and dropping it onto the page. And just to do some basic um, editing or styling here, let's make the sidebar or the content box maximum with 750 pixels. And let's just say a minimum height of 150 pixels. Let's go ahead and center that and then change the inner padding pixels to 30 all around. And then we can move on to changing the background color of the content box to this light blue like you see in the example. Okay, so now the content box is set up so we can grab our first design element which here is the text, box, text element, drag and drop that into the content box. We'll center the text and type 01. And from there we can start styling the font type Okay, let's grab the next text element and style it. Let's now add the divider element. And we can quickly style it, give it this light blue color, maybe a thickness of something like five, and we'll change the pattern to be starred. Okay, pretty close. And now we can go ahead and add our toggle element. From here, what you'll see is that the toggle element template you see in the example looks very different from the default example, but it actually is the default toggle template, just highly customized. So here's how we're going to customize it. We need to get the columns to three and we'll go ahead and remove one of those toggle items. From there, we're going to change the background color. Uh, we're just going to delete this gray. And then also we need to change the horizontal space between the toggle items to 30 pixels. Okay, getting a lot closer. Let's go ahead and enter the edit toggle items um, editor window. And we have to do some heavy customization in here to get it to look like the example. So first, you'll see that we have an ellipses icon here instead of this downward facing chevron. So let's change that. We can search for the chevron, the downward facing chevron in the icon template library. And we'll go ahead and change that icon size to something more like 10 pixels. Okay, so it's a lot smaller. And now we need to change the text of these toggle item titles to match what we see. So it's, it's a lot smaller, the text size, so it's maybe something more like 16 or 18 pixels. And we can change the font type to something more like, I believe, Open Sans is what we see here. And we'll just give it a, a um, light font weight, center it and remove the bold 
and let's go ahead and make it all caps for the, the text style. And now from here we can change the text. Okay, cool. We're pretty close. Uh, let's see, I think the maybe the font size is a little bit smaller. The line heights too, let's get the letter spacing more like two pixels. Okay, looking, looking very good. Now I see a few things like the um, icon isn't quite as indented from the right side of the toggle item. So we can change that by going into the layout and position instead of 10 pixels around, let's, let's say 20 pixels all around. So this gives us a 20 pixel padding around each, each um, edge of the toggle item. Now we can get into the actual drop-down area. And this is the cool feature of this particular example. Instead of just simple uh, text element, what we're gonna do is add the post list element into the drop-down area. And from there, we're going to select um, a post list template that we can use. But like you saw in the example, it was it's something quite simple. It's, it's quite a narrow toggle item, so we don't wanna to get too fancy here. Let's just use this very simple post list template to display specific pages we want the viewer to see in this getting started toggle item. So now we can program the post list element. So we'll go to filter posts, and instead of posts, we're actually gonna change it to pages because we wanna display specific tutorial pages on our site about the product. And we can go ahead and arrange it by dates published or even the title might be better here since certain tutorial content titles may be listed in a way like tutorial page number one or two or however specific you wanna be. And instead of descending, we'll put it in an ascending order and just do three, display three posts. And we can even be very specific about which pages we want to display. And we can click pages and add those page names to the actual display rule within the post list element. Okay, and we'll save and close that. And now we have very specific tutorial page content showing under this getting started toggle item. That will be how you'll complete this particular toggle element example, where you can create and show very specific tutorial content for new users of your products. With that, I really hope you enjoyed this Let's Build video on how to use toggle elements in Thrive Architect to boost engagement and conversions across your website. If you have any questions about the examples you saw us build in this video or the use cases we showcased in our blog post, please make sure to leave them in the comments section below. And we'll see you in the next Thrive Themes Let's Build video.